Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a uh, Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well Leo Rising weekly tarot reading for June 24th to uh, June 30th, 2019. And uh, <clears throat> bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we will jump straight away to the spread. All right, so uh, the first card which represents Leo's topic for the week, that is going to be uh, the death card, followed by the second one which stands for the challenges that Leo are to uh, overcome for throughout the week. This is going to be uh, the Ace of Wands, followed by the third one which stands for the uh, positive aspect of the week that Leo have in front of them. This is going to be the Devil card for what it seems, and then the last one, which is the um, guidance the tarot is offering to Leo, that will be uh, the um, Emperor card. Okay, <clears throat> so once again, the death stands as uh, the topic, followed by the um, Ace of Wands, which is the challenge. Then it is the uh, Devil card, which is the positive aspect. And the final one that is to be the Emperor, which stands for the guidance Tarot is offering to you. All right, so Leo, <clears throat> quite of a faithful week. It is what we have for what it seems. A week which uh, the circumstances are going to lay down in such a way uh, that um, you it, it, basically they are going to be the perfect circumstances. So uh, that will be a part of the challenge itself, believing that it is true as it seems, or rather like it is as good as it is true. I don't know. You know, you do have that expression that is way too good to be true. Well, it is that good and it is true. And that is part of the challenge here, guys, to um, not hesitate and take on this opportunity. But nonetheless, here, the death card, as it says at the start, is that they are major change is going to undergo for you either into your relationship or either into your career. The death card says that there are things which are going to be in flux, okay? And uh, simply a, a change needs to happen so the newness can embark into your life. And uh, as well as a part of the challenge uh, as well, it could be that you need to decide also which of those things that are in flux you're going to give up from, you know, and which you are going to substitute as well. But the thing with the death card is that this is a, a long time prepared change that it is coming. So even if it takes place at a, um, at a field of your life where you are not feeling like it needs uh, changes, uh, then that means that you have reached a, a point where nothing new or kind of like there can there cannot be any more growth into uh, this field. The accompanied card here that is to be the Ace of Cups formation is a passive supporters that we have. So the Ace of Cups is another card pointing of an impending change or rather like impending circumstances which are doubling your life uh, 
with content and with exhilaration, with contentment, excuse me, and uh, a exhilaration, a uh, circumstances which are going to make a lot, a lot of your issues currently uh, completely irrelevant because they will no longer be needed to be attended as you, um, you know, make those necessary adaptations, Would I, I would say that way, or the universe is going to make those adaptations uh, for you. Now, <clears throat> these couple of cards are a very big thing, and you need to know that uh, with them, you know, the circumstances you require to improve your career state, to improve your marriage, or whatever, are going to be given to you on a platter. Now, looking at the next cards, it seems that this platter is going to be in front of you for the duration of the week and then suddenly is going to disappear. Therefore, uh, Leo's is going to be crucial, guys, that you are active, okay? It's going to be crucial that you are initiative and you take advantage of even the slightest edge that these circumstances are giving to you. That is displayed in the next card here, which is the Ace of Wands, and it does speaks for a very gainingful enterprise coming around. Now as a challenge is going to be you taking advantage of this gaining for enterprise for the reason being that you may not feel comfortable on initiating into it because you may think that you lack either skills, knowledge or determination if you want to say it that way. No different than for example someone displays interest in you, that handsome boy, you know, but because it's handsome and because it has a lot of suitors around him, you are afraid that you won't be able to sustain that relationship. So that should not be a thing that it will require your concern, but instead just close your eyes and take on this very, very gainingful enterprise and opportunity coming in your way. The accompanied card here is gonna be the six of wands, so it doesn't get any better than that. So it's, it's about, you know, self-confidence. It's about a, a realization that you can stray for more, actually, you can go for more, and you don't need approval of anybody. As a matter of fact, it does, these couple of cards does display your, <clears throat> your position into the society where uh, there are people admiring you, all right? And there are also those who are... Uh, wants to cheer you out it's very difficult to display it it wants to cheer you out it wants to give you their appreciation but in the same time they don't do it for the reason for a numerous reasons i cannot disclose on them right now because these reasons are going to be different for every single one of you but just because the the point here guys is that because you are maybe not facing you know the cheer up or the recognition that you do deserve from those which are around you that could impact negatively you know your uh, confidence and the lack of confidence it is exactly what you don't want because it is the thing that could could deprive you of you taking into initiation upon this gaining for enterprise and uh, the next card which is uh, the devil card that stands for the positive aspect of the week here the devil points that you are going to be filled up with this power okay a power that will allow you to create your own circumstances yes you are going to have those gaining for enterprises yes the circumstances are going to be given to you on a platter but you are to create something out of them you you decide what that thing is going to be now the thing with the devil card is that these power these energies uh, they can be used for both ways you can use them destructively or you can use them constructively you know, people will decide for yourself, uh, for themselves, excuse me, I mean, you, Leo, are going to decide for yourself, are you going to use those circumstances, for example, to bring up your marriage back on its feet, for example, or are you going to use them to destroy your marriage, you know, straight away, and an example of it that comes to my mind is that, let's say you found out that your husband is cheating on you, so these are the circumstances you need. So you can use that to destroy your marriage, to file for the for, for a, a divorce, and to demand the whole, you know, cumulative property to be signed to you, rather than to be split, okay? And most likely you're gonna win. 
or you can display that in front of them. You can make him feel sorry for it and promise to you that they're not, they're never going to do that again. And most likely that will be the case uh, as well. So once again, you decide how you're going to take advantage and how you're going to use that particular uh, power that is given to you throughout the week. The accompanied card here that is going to be the Queen of Swords formation. It is a passive neutrals, uh, passive enemies, excuse me, that we do have. So um, <clears throat> the Queen of Swords have a, a very little um, impact upon the reading here to the Devil card. Uh, for the fact being that the Devil is very, very strong card, guys. And it does point that you need to stick to your original criteria and you need to stick to your, uh, how can I describe it, your um, original expectations as well. Meaning no compromise whatsoever with the end results of your, of your deeds and of your expectations as well. And the last card that we do have, it is the guidance for you, Leo, and that will be uh, the Emperor card. So the Emperor is associated with, with structure, structure excuse me uh, consistency and reliability as well so whatever you do you need to present yourself very strong you need to present yourself like a leader for example if you this i don't know what you are to decide but whatever you decided you need to stick with it i mean you have to show yourself like you know what you're doing you know that you are very confident into oneself and that you do have a a plan that's um, a, a, a solid plan how to do it. Now, one thing I want to say about the Emperor as well is that when we do have the Emperor as a guidance, it does says that one leader as uh, for the purpose of presenting himself strong and um, how can I describe it? Um, solid means that dignity does not dictate the whole truth to be told, okay? You only have to share that which is essential for the situation, the rest you keep for yourself. Mm. So the other card that we do have to the Emperor, that is going to be the Ace of Swords. The formation it is a active friends that we do have here. And uh, with this combo, it seems, Leo, that you will be very aware, you know, what that whole thing is gonna lead you to. You're gonna be very keen with the situation itself. It doesn't look like that there, there is gonna be a thing to surprise you there. Uh, you are gonna be two steps ahead of your rivals, you know, or of, of your villains. And uh, I, it's simply that thing is doom to success, I mean, whatever the change is uh, taking place, whatever you're sub substituting and whatever new goal you are to place in front of yourself, should you be consistent and reliable and structured about it, it's the, the, the whole thing is doomed to succeed, guys. At least this is what the cards are pointing. It's just you gotta be objective about it and uh, you need to address the things with their true uh, names and nature. So that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading, Leo, for June 24th to a June 30th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.